okay guys so let's get started on our e-commerce project so what i'll be doing now is let's create a folder and give the name of our project uh, so the name of our project will be a uh, spark spark tech so you can just give any name of your choice so i'll just type spark tech okay uh, i'm just gonna open this with uh, a code editor that is a visual studio code of course uh, you can use any code editor of your choice uh, of course this is the standard one so i hope everyone are using vs code and let's uh, open an integrated terminal in vs code and let's uh, start our uh, react app so uh, i'll be using uh, vtap at the moment so if you are uh, comfortable with create react app of course you can just go ahead and install create react app there is no like no much uh, difference though so uh, let's go ahead and type npm create vt at the rate latest okay so it's gonna prompt you for some uh, few things uh, like what is the name of the project so i'm gonna give it a client so so there will be two types one is for the back end one is for the front end so for the front end i'll be naming it client and for the back end i'll be naming it server okay so it's so it will ask you what framework do you want to use so i'll be using react and uh, javascript so i'll not be using typescript this project so so you can just see it created a directory called client and what we need to just do is go ahead and uh, navigate to that directory and uh, just install our uh, necessary dependencies so i'm gonna type npm install just as it says over here and next we're gonna run the development server okay so npm install you can just type i so let's wait for it to uh, install all the dependencies so this might take a quite a while and we're gonna get back okay so our uh, dependencies have been installed and now let's spin up our development server by typing npm run dev okay so uh, yeah so so when you are into create react app you just need to type npm start you can just see over here go to a package.json and uh, it has a script for uh, you know uh, uh dev to run the development server okay so by default it opens at port 5173 but uh, we'll be changing this to 3000 we just need to tweak in the wheat configuration settings you can just see over here we have our wheat app uh, setup and uh, and wheat is a very nice tool and right now it's in the trend because it has so many features like uh, hot module replacement uh, basically it's a build tool which makes it a lot more faster than create react app especially when you're building uh, huge projects right so okay so you can notice that uh, we are running on port 5173 so let's uh, go ahead and change that uh, just go to weed.config.js here you just need to add in another uh, property called server and uh, and give that inside an object of port colon 3000 so this will run your uh, development server on 3000 okay so uh, you can just see over here right now it's uh, started at 3000 and this will no longer work okay so yeah this is all the boilerplate code that you get uh, out of the box with wheat and it has some stupid features like this and uh, we, we're just gonna get rid of all of them and just start our own, own hello world app okay. okay so what we're gonna do is just clear up whatever we get uh, in our source directory that is app.cs we don't app.css that we don't need that and uh, index.css we just gonna clear out everything and we just gonna have uh, just the app.jsx where uh, we you know import the you know index.css uh, by default okay so we don't have the app.css anymore and uh, you know what uh, let's just um, delete everything and just uh, know create a functional component okay so this is basically a uh, uh, extension that i have installed in vs code that is es7 uh, react snippets so you can just go ahead and install them and yeah let's just go ahead and print out hello world just like everybody uh, started learning development this is the first thing which we ever learned right so there we have it and uh, yeah and on main.j6 we do not have this actually and so let's go ahead and see how does it look let me just refresh it okay uh, i actually don't 
okay by mistake i just deleted the app.jsx file you, you can just uh, have that and just uh, save it and just have a look okay so there we have it hello world and uh, yeah in okay so in the next video we'll be installing uh, tailwind css okay using the terminal itself and uh, we'll be using that for styling our application throughout and uh, let's go ahead and do that